You say Ross Kemp saved your life as well. Ross and Stevie both helped me. How come? Ross didn't, uh, honestly, not save my life so much, but he, um, I passed out once at the top of the stairs in the Vic and I hit the deck, bang, because I was just constantly would have that thing with coke where I was doing that much and then I was gouge like that out with stuff where I needed to have a line. Well, I'd be up for days and I would gouge out really bad. Um, almost like heroin addict gouges out. I used to be like that bad with drugs. Um, so am I blocking off what is blocking the shot? Mm-hmm. And I just went over, ping, gone, down. And I fell from top to bottom of the stairs on the Vic. And Ross just caught me like that. And he held me in his hands and they said, um, come over from the top board on the mic like that, press the button, pick her up and make her work. And Ross just looked and Stevie just, I just remember coming to and seeing Steve. Steve always worries me anyway. He can make me cry like that, Steve McFadden. He's got that, he's got that look about him. He is like a big brother. And he went, no, I won't. And yeah, I remember being in his arms like that and Barbara's only little, like that, up into his armpit. And she looked up at the two of them like that and they went, no, we're not doing it. She's ill, the kid's ill. She's fucking ill. He said, she needs an ambulance, get her an ambulance. She's ill, she's overdosing. And they said, make her work. And he said, if we, I'll stand down. And then a couple of the crew and that went, we'll stand down. That cost, back then it cost 250 grand a day to make his tenders. If no one stands down, you work. They love me. That's a good thing, though. It's a great thing. And that shows you your they character. Got me a yeah, that they shows got me you. a doctor, you know. Yeah, that shows you your character that you're very well liked, you're very well respected. I was dying. Yeah. You know, as well, I was, I was overdosing.